My name is Kiwani Berkeley and I'm from Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. I signed up for the Introduction to Music Production online course from Coursera.org because I wanted to get a solid understanding of how to better run my home studio. Taking this course is really going to help me understand the gear and the terms that I'll be coming across as a music professional. Today I'll be doing a quick tutorial on these things. Microphones. In this tutorial, I'll give a quick rundown of the basics of dynamic and condenser microphones. A microphone is an input transducer that converts sound, which are vibrations in the air, into voltage variations when those vibrations are picked up by the microphone. Microphones are mainly used to either record or amplify the sounds in the air that are being picked up by the microphone. Nowadays, microphones are used almost everywhere. You can find a microphone on your cell phone, on your laptop, on secret agents. But the microphones that we'll be talking about are mainly used for large meetings, live performances, or in a recording studio. At a large meeting, the main speaker will use a microphone for everyone to hear what he or she is saying. Also, vocalists or musicians who are in a live performance setting or in a recording studio will use microphones for the audience to hear them perform or for the recording equipment to record their voice or instrument. Okay, remember, a microphone is an input transducer. Well, the vibrations in the air are picked up by the microphone and converted into voltage variations or an audio signal. This signal is then sent to a preamp which can be found on a mixer or audio interface. The preamp amplifies the audio signal to standard line level so that we can actually make use of that audio signal. Dynamic microphones look like this or this. And they come in other shapes and sizes as well. They're mostly used in live meetings or performances and they're really rugged. The dynamic mic will best pick up sound within a very short proximity of the mic itself. The condenser microphone can look like this and are usually found in a recording studio. The condenser microphone will pick up more sounds within a larger proximity as opposed to the dynamic microphones. Dynamic microphones will not require any additional voltage in order for the microphone to function. However, the condenser microphone requires 48 volts of alternating current also known as phantom power, in order for the mic to work. The frequency response tells you which frequency the mic will pick up well and which frequencies will be rejected by the microphone. The polar pattern refers to the area around the microphone that the microphone will pick up best. Figure 8. The figure 8 pattern picks up sounds from the front as well as behind, but not on the sides. Omnidirectional. This pattern picks up sounds from the front, behind, and both sides of the microphone. Cardioid. The cardioid pattern picks up sound from in front, as well as both sides of the microphone. There are other variations of the cardioid pattern which pick up sound from other areas around the mic in addition to the front and sides. So, there you have a quick rundown of the basics of dynamic and condenser microphones. Hope I was able to teach you a thing or two about mics. Thanks for watching and reviewing my assignments. I really hope to get a good grade.